fellow vapers, vaping newbie here, and uh, I'm taking a look at, again, another rebuildable atomizer. And this one is getting a lot of questions, a lot of conversations, both on Facebook and on other uh, forums. And I'm talking about the Orchid V4 clone, and this came courtesy of Fast Tech. And, folks, it's like $10.50 plus $2 shipping, so let's say 13 bucks for the whole deal. Uh, people like myself, we don't get freebies thrown at us to do overviews or reviews, however you want to call it. Uh, so I thought I'd roll the dice for uh, 13 bucks. The box is throwaway. There's nothing special about the box at all. But inside that box, you got that little baggie with some uh, spare uh, spare screws, some O-rings, that blue-handled screwdriver, a little baggie of Canthal, and a little baggie of Silica Wick. And then you have the tank. And the tank to me is very attractive. It it's a 22 millimeter tank, um, sort of reminiscent, I guess, of that K-Fun style, but it's got its own attributes. Uh, the drip tip, it's not quite a wide bore. I call it a medium bore drip tip that's included. It's a nice looking drip tip. And then on that, you have, um, I don't know if you can make that out, but you have there uh, three lines on the drip tip and then that carries through into the top cap. And that's actually carved into the stainless steel. It's not painted. And, of course, it's just a very shallow cut into the drip tip because <laughs> you don't need holes there, right? Um, and then you come all the way down again, you, as mentioned, the polycarbonate tank into stainless steel. This is a dual coil build, so you have one airflow hole there and another airflow hole there. Uh, not adjustable airflow. It is what it is, but I've been enjoying this. I've had it about three weeks now like to make sure I try it out before I do an overview of it and I've been enjoying the airflow on it. it and I like a very loose draw and it has that on the bottom you have a brass plated 510 connector and then you have a screw I can't seem to get that focus but that screw and it's a fill of head screw that's there uh, that is the fill hole and really there is no need to fill it in any other way um, we're going to take it apart the first thing I noticed was most of the threading on this was actually very nice. Uh, the first thing that came to mind, though, was the drip tip. Um, I only had it a week, and it was a very tight-fitting drip tip. But as you can see now, it's quite loose, and I'm not quite sure why that is. I mean, there, it is going to wear a bit, but I didn't think it would wear that quickly. Um, on the base, you have your uh, chimney. It is a one-piece chimney. It does not come into two sections. You do have an etching that's on there that I actually like. I think it looks kind of sharp, but to be perfectly frank, when the um, tank is full of juice, you don't see it anyhow. Uh, so you take off your chimney, and that shows a build deck. And as I mentioned, it is a dual coil deck, so uh, no criticizing the coils. So you have your build deck. Let me just get it there for you. And you can see that the, um, the four channels for the juice it's very k esque It's not overly deep, uh, and, and it works quite fine. The thing that I love about this that makes it an easier dual-coil tank for beginners is it has the four-post system. So you have two negative, two positive. Makes it a wee bit easier to build and, and get your coil on. I did a dual-coil 7-wrap that is coming out at 0.70, and... Uh, if I may say so myself, works quite well. Everything's in tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wick it. We'll talk about the wicking, and I'll be back in a minute. Take care. Okay, so i got some wick in here, and what I've done is I've almost created a dual K-Fun wicking style. So just to the top of the juice channels. And um, I'm going to try... A juice that I've spoken about before, it has a really nice flavor. It's almost like a blue freezy. And I'm talking about Blue Sky Bitch. And this is from Evaporated.com, which I'll put down below. But um, it is, up here in Canada, probably one of the most popular uh, juices, at least in the group that I belong to. Um, I have a couple bottles, so I thought, let's try this in here. It just smells so nice. And uh, look at this. Look at this. That blue sky bitch just did it nicely. Now, when you're putting the chimney back on, you want to be careful that you don't catch 
the wicking in the thread. So you want to take your time and make sure that that is going to have a good seal. I'll now put the top cap on, or the, the tank part, I should say. And as I just want to take a little toot, it's not on any kind of device. I'm going to take uh, my screwdriver and remove that uh, screw that's in there. And we'll get some juice going. Now, one of the things that I like about evaporated uh, juices is they have the wee little um, top. So you can get that inside it and fill it up with some juice there. Now, you don't want to put too much juice in to begin with. Um, you really only want to put a little bit of juice to give it a test. I'm just going to, I got some juice on it actually, pardon me. And I spilt some. So we're going to wipe that off and clean it all up for you. Put the screw back in. Now, unfortunately, very much like a K fund, it's, um, I've, I thought, I was hoping it would be a topper that you could, uh, if you had to work on the build at all, it wouldn't be an issue to leave your juice in. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, the juice will come out. Uh, so there is that downside. But, I mean, I guess I'm so used to that with the K funds, it's not a big issue. So now we'll put it on, get it onto a device. And I'm just going to clean it up, and then we'll give it a go. Okay, so it's all nice and cleaned up. I wanted to make it presentable. I think it looks really nice on my ZNA uh, Cloud 4. Um, boosted it up to 30 watts. Uh, I generally am not a high wattage vapor because I try to keep my coils around 1 ohm. But with 70 watts, dual coil, dual uh, airflow, I, 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 I like to try things. So here we go. Um, 30 watts. It's really nice. I'm enjoying it. Um, I've always liked the Blue Sky Bitch. If you, uh, I don't know if you saw the review that I originally did on it. I like the taste, that blue freezy taste. I, I almost could feel the chill, but with, I guess, a 70 point or 0.7 ohm coil, it gives a bit of heat. Um, the one thing that I would say that I don't like about it is the fact that you get that wobbly um, drip tip. I can change the O-ring and uh, solidify that so it's not that big an issue. Uh, I think that the looks are good. The performance is absolutely out of this world. A lot better than I, and I thought it was going to be when it came in. And uh, I'll be perfectly frank with you, for $13, you really can't lose. It does produce, I'm not a cloud chaser, I always say that, it does produce a good amount of vape. So little tips, you really want to watch the wicking. It's all going to be about the wicking, like so many rebuildables. So I, I just found, this is the second build, and I, I cut the wicking the same way, just on top of those uh, channel, with the juice channels, and that works fine. The second area is how much juice you put in. Like most uh, rebuildable atomizers, you put too much juice, you're going to get a leak. So you want to control that somewhat. So you don't want to overfill it. Um, I've never tried top filling it. I don't think I will. Uh, it's too easy to use the bottom fill. Um, one thing about the bottom fill is that screw, it did not have an O-ring on it. So there's a bit of a downside. And again, I wish it was a, a, a glass center tank, but it is what it is. Overall, this is definitely a nice tank, and it's part of my rotation. Um, I like to use this more when I'm here than when I'm on the road. I switch out my K-Funds, but it is a very nice tank. I, I have traveled with it when it was laying down, when it was horizontal, not vertical. I didn't have any problems with it, so that is a plus. Here we go, Orchid V4 clone.
Folks, I always like spending time with you. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay healthy and happy vaping. Take care now.